had the hardest day. Some days are so heavy. Jill, how did you pay for all this? I thought your dad took away your credit card. Oh, please. I memorized those numbers when I was 15. <laughs> what are you ever going to use that for? To pay for the gym. <laughs> hey, so I had a great day. I guess I'm going to be hanging out here anyway. I might as well get paid for it, right? Just feel kind of weird serving you guys, you know? Oh, that's oh. Great. Wait a minute. I didn't pay. I thought you paid. So apparently we just don't pay for food anymore. <laughs> Do you see what I see? <gasps> it's still there. <laughs> In English phrasal verbs, we will learn the verb pay for. It means one, to purchase merchandise. Examples, have you paid for that dress yet? Don't worry, I'll pay for it. Two, to punish someone. Examples, if you do something bad to him, he's going to make you pay for it. He needs to pay for his crime by doing time in prison. Now, let's see how pay for is used in real life. Do we pay for this? <laughs> no, we didn't even pay our cable bill. Mm. This is how much we pay for electric? Well, yeah. <laughs> this is a garden view room, and we paid for an ocean view room. Our last ocean view room was unacceptable to you. <laughs> Look, this is ridiculous. I'm not paying for that room, okay? Well, thank you very much. What's that for? To pay for the gym. <laughs> hey! Jill, how did you pay for all this? I thought your dad took away your credit card. I paid for those tickets. No, you didn't. You said so apparently we just don't pay for food anymore. <laughs> Port of my career. He's paid for acting classes and headshots and stuff. And well, this would be my way of paying you back. I'm not paying for half of that. I'm only staying here until my apartment gets fixed. Take the test at accent101.com to find out si sabes inglés o hablas inglés.